Let's get a move on, Tack. What happened to us? I think someone's trying to keep us from reaching my brother. <laughs> Should we wake them up? We could, if we want to have a couple of babbling blockheads following us around. They're tired. They need their sleep. I like your way of thinking, Tack. Let's go. Behold, Skyrock Crater. Long ago, a piece of the sky fell here to carve out these impressive falls. Hello, welcome back to Tac 2. Yeah, I got the title right. Anyway, last time we were in that catapult dream world whatever thing that I died a lot on, and now we're in the Skyrock Crater. And I just like the description straight up. A piece of the sky fell out of the earth. Fell and caused this. I don't know. It's just charming. And well, it's just like, you know, these people are essentially cavemen. Sort of. So it's just kind of the stuff that they say is kind of amusing to me. But yeah. And we'll see another example of that in the next level. Um, I, I also don't remember this level being too bad, but I, I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. Anyway, as you can see, the bridge was taken down, so we can't exactly go that way. I also just want to check the Juju Potion recipes. Uh, of course, uh, once again, the new two-ish recipes per level. Uh, if I remember, this level actually has some pretty cool secrets. So, yeah, I'll be sure to look out for them. And, yeah, I do kind of like the whole crater aspect of this level. That you're, like, climbing down it. Oh, yeah, you gotta drop down from some of these, though. I've been kind of afraid to do that for this, for fear of, like, missing stuff. But from the looks of it, there really isn't anything to miss. Nope, there's nothing this way. I'm just checking to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, I really wish they would give us more juju fruit, like for the potion ingredients and such, but whatever. Hi, Froggy. I do know that this right here actually this is like a secret area with you getting a lot of bugs. And I'm pretty sure if I can get over there. This dust stuff. What, what is this stuff? I don't quite know. I don't remember how to get that. Am I just supposed to shatter it and they fly over here? Guess that's the case. But, uh, yeah, this frog right here. I don't remember, actually. Huh. Well, over.
over here we've got no, no we don't have death I'd like to not die thank you okay so we need to bring bees over here Again, it's been a while since I played this game, so I'm sorry if my playing ability isn't that great. But yeah, this is a secret. From the looks of it. Or maybe... No, wait, this is a secret, yeah. And we get Woody Shaman. Wonderful. What, that didn't do anything? Ah. This is tricky because you see how narrow this platform is? Alright, let's matrix kick this guy. Ah! I think I'm all at this I really need to do at this point is just get to the other end. Okay, made it. Sort of. Just need a recipe and then I'm out. Good. Now back to the puzzle. Which I think maybe I just stunned the frog. Oh right, he can't eat more than one swarm at once. I really need to remember these gimmicks about the puzzles. Eh, I don't know. I mean, some of them aren't that clear in that you can, like, put to sleep some animals. Others you kind of need to, like, use the stinkweed on. It can be a bit unclear. But whatever. Whoa, no! Ah, uh, boy. I'm doing real wonderful job today. I totally didn't just get up not too long ago. No, I actually did. Well, not really. I've been up for about three hours today. That's probably good enough. Most people can go to school with that kind of sleep. I have to go to school with about 40 minutes um, of being awake. Well, Actually, no. Like an hour and a half, that's better time. Yeah. That's about every day when I go to school. I'm up for about an hour and a half. And I get about, I would say, I don't know, six, seven hours of sleep. Uh, oh dear. On. Nope, missed. Oh right, I forgot I have the bolas. I can use those to stun and uh, then just well on him. Yeah, you see how I forgot I have the bolas? I just I just do. launch a magical attack by holding down the L button and then rapidly pressing the B followed by the X button. So yeah, that's another awesome new ability and this one is one I really like. It's one of my favorites. So anyway, let's do this. Bolas. Because they're totally memorable. I don't know. Nope. 
Uh, okay. I think that's good. Now we can keep on going. Downwards. Wonderful. I do like how the camera will pan downwards to actually show you where you need to go. Because I, I don't think I would have remembered that easily. Though I do believe our second secret is around here somewhere. Um... Actually, no, I'm probably thinking of a different level. It's, it looks a lot like uh, Skyrock Crater, but it's it's a little later down the road. It's uh, we'll, we'll know when we see it. But, uh... You can kind of see that we can't exactly get on the boar now, and boar kills us. And then he just starts spazzing out. What? Uh, yeah. Actually, um... Yeah, there's no point in feeding them guy, those guys because the Woody Shaman... But what? Oh, uh, this is another one of those parts where the game tries to shift it to D-ish things and it gets kind of weird. But, um, it's also now oddly parroting Donkey Kong, sort of. Like, with the barrels and the 2D climbing. I don't, I don't get it. Whoa! And th that should not have the blast radius that it does. Well, let's try out our Juju Bolt ability. Oh, you see that? It, like, targets everything. That ability, that thing, it wrecks everything. It's awesome. Like, it is such a good ability. It is so OP. And I'll probably be using it quite a bit. Like, all right, stinkweed, boar. Here we go. Uh huh. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. This is fun. Uh -huh. We. Ah. Uh, nothing like a good boar ride. Okay, there's a lot of things that are a lot better than a riding on a stinky boar, but whatever. I have nothing against animals. You know, some of them stink because it just, it, it's kind of a natural thing for them. And, uh, you know, it, concerning their environment, whatever. Eh. I don't really mind it that much. I do believe up here is something else. Some bugs. I don't think the Juju Potion recipe is up here, though. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's up here. No, because we can't even go over here, and I just fell. Nice job, me. What a wonderful job you just did. Now, how do I get out of here? Uh, like this? No, not like this. Did I break the game? Uh, I hope I didn't break the game. If so, number one, that's the game should not be eas that easily broken. What? What? Actually, wait, I can just swim over here. Okay then, I guess I can't exactly use the bat ability, but I have this, so yeah, just wrecked everything. The Juju Bolts just wrecked everything. They're so overpowered. I'm going to try to spam it as li little as possible, though, because out of fear of, you know... All right, go eat the bees, and I'll just go from the looks of it get another boar. Yep. No, I think she should go the other way. Good buddy, boar, sir. Boar, Jason, boar. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what the? Whoa, frame rate. 
<laughs> I don't know where that came from, that reference came from. I'm so excited for Jason Bourne. That movie's going to be great. But yeah, time for some more ingredients from the looks of it. Oh, a gigantic fruit. It's worth quite a bit of fruit. That's nice. I could always use those. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit worried that, that juju potion recipe that I'm not finding. I mean, the level's still got a good amount of distance left in it, but still. And I'm dead. This is strange. Kind of reminding me of that one moment in Chicken Island West in the first game, where, like, if you just fall in the water, you just die and, and fall in an abyss. Like, with the air geysers that are really low. It's, it's strange. Uh, okay then. Looks like the generator is working, but it is covered in moss and very slippery. Be careful. Okay. Uh. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is pretty interesting level design, though. A lot of this is like technology based. We'll get into a little more technology based stuff in the next level, but yeah, it's cool. And I always do kind of like this kind of technology-based platforming, where it's like these spitting pillars or whatever. I don't know what it is, I just like the aesthetic. It's it's cool looking. No. What? Whoa, that was a bottomless pit. Okay, I guess it has a hitbox down there that calls that a bottomless pit. Thanks for reloading me up here, though, game. I appreciate that, so I don't have to, like, do the climb again. That I appreciate. Alright, nice. Get more fruit. More fruit, more fruit! What, why was it a bottomless pit that time? Okay, now if I die, do I get up there? Yes, I do. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, okay. Just barely made it on there. Good. Okay, um, here's something I'm wondering. Yes, I can. Here's where that nonsensical glide comes in handy. And, uh, I do believe... Oh, is this where the last... Should be. Can I just... Okay, no, I can't. It's not that OP. Oh, okay, I missed the cutscene where we open that up, but yay, the last recipe. Matrix kick to get it. Awesome. Just want to see if they're useful. Uh, unlock game music, new particle effects. Yeah, why not? It could be fun. Oh, yeah. Just makes those look different. Yeah, why not? It, it looks cool. But I do believe this is the end of the level. Or we're coming up on it pretty soon, if not right now. So yeah. See you all uh, next part. Since I think this is the end. work and no play that JB. It's just shamanism, shamanism, shamanism. She's heard a girl scream. Hello? Somebody's there? Help! I'm trapped! Our parasites! They're everywhere! Calm down, JB. It's me, Jaboba. What's going on? Th they've stuck me to the wall. I think one of them wants to eat my face. Hold on, JB. We'll be right there. 